AfricaCom 2016 in Cape Town, South Africa. Today I have a keynote and the keynote title was actually Broadband and Digital Services. These are the wings for flying with the digital economy or for Africa as a whole. So what did I talk about? I talk about three major things. I talked about broadband as an enabler for African economy. And for broadband, it's actually not only mobile broadband, it's also mobile broadband and fixed broadband. As we see here in, 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 in Africa as a whole, there is 24% penetration of mobile broadband. Although there are decent speed in some of the countries, like for example, South Africa, there are speed peak speeds of more than 15 megabit per second, but yet these are not ubiquitous. So what do we need to do? To convert to those speed into an average speed, and at the same time, we need to enhance is a ubiquity of MBB throughout Africa. So that's the first the fundamental change that we need to have in Africa. Broadband in general, they have many fundamental factors. They, uh, they need to take care of the coverage, need to take care of the speed, take care of the latency, take care of the security also of the broadband. So those are the things that we need to do for broadband. Now, the second thing I talked about is the digitalization. Digital services in, in, in Africa as a whole, actually it has a lot of values. Why? Because we all know that Africa has a lot of challenges. So these challenges actually brings a lot of opportunity. That's why we projected that there are $4 billion IoT market size by 2025. And also we projected that the digital uh, uh, big data will have a contribution of more than 6% of the total Africa GDP by year 2030. The Africa GDP by year 2030 is going to be about $4 trillion. 6% of that will be about $250, $260 billion. That's what we, what we call valued dollars and valued GDP out of the big data and the analysis, analytics and the services as well. So that's the digitalization. How about safety? Safety for Africans is so important because that threatens all of the economical growth. So we talked about the safety has to be provided from the operator network. We cannot have different network that provide one of them public, one of them provide the safety. So I talked about that having one network that provide public safety and the move from just the push to talk to push the video and beyond that as well. So those are the three fundamental factors. Now, you cannot do that until, unless you have the economy or the, the economics and the health of operator business is very good. So how can we enhance the economics of mobility business for the operators? So we talked about what is it that we need to do to enhance the mobile data revenue? We talked about more users if the operator in 3G status. And if moving towards 4G and you're having a big pipe, you have to talk about more traffic as well. More users, more traffic, and then after that you will have to get more value out of the bit that you are transmitting. And that's what we talk about, collaboration with OTT and video. Video now in Africa is about 20% of the traffic, but that's supposed to go up until 70% or even 80% in the next few years. Now, later after that, we have to do more business. So I talked about the value shift from B2C to B2X. And that was major in my talk today to tell we're not not only facing increase in traffic in Africa for like 20 times for hotspot area, we are facing change and shift for the values from mobile, from PC to mobile, from traffic to information, uh, from voice to video, from close to open, from limited to ecosystem. How is it affected the operator business? From single to cloud, from hardware to software. All of the things we talked about today. So, so what's next? What's next is the operator need to focus on providing values or valued business to the African people so that African people can come in and subscribe to mobile services. When they do that, there will be an economical growth and, and a healthy business for the operator. And at the same time, the African people will work, will be more productive, they will be happier, they will do, uh, they will do better when it comes to daily life activity. Government role is instrumental in Africa. So I talked about five roles for the government in Africa. The first one is they will have to release spectrum, more spectrum, very quick, 
The second one, they need to enable more sites by opening a public facility for the sites. The third one, they need to mobilize more services. They need to facilitate more values and more services for the operators. Last but not least, they need to be part of educating the people so that they can use the digital services overall. So, so this is this is what we uh, what we talked about. And in the last part of the presentation, we had to talk about 4.5G and 5G. Why? This conference is about 5G, but you know 5G in Africa is has a different taste because there is a lot of debate was especially in the panel that I attended about but does 5G make sense? We have 2G, 3G, there are even countries that don't have ubiquitous 4G. Do we still need to talk about 5G or not? Well, the answer is clear. The technology is driven by business. Technology is driven by services. So we need to work with the African people from now. There is no need to wait for 5G to do IoT or to do uh, uh, digital services. These things that can be done with LTE network, with LTE advanced, with even 4.5G. So we talked about how to enhance the experience, how to unlock the traffic, how to, in how to move to new business for 4.5G. Now, when the moment is right and the operator finds itself for you already evolve from business perspective to all of those things now and there is a demand for EMBB there is a demand for low latency ultra reliable communication then this is the time for 5G technology there is no there is no problem about it the whole thing is about the motivation and the business model especially for Africa market which is characterized by less ARPU and the high OPEX so that summarizes what I talked about today uh, which was very interesting presentation and also a panel that followed so uh, so it was happy and then tomorrow we will have the salon and we will have more conversation and we'll go from there. Thank you so much and to the next time for the factor.